Towson University Tigers get set for a rematch with the Dragons of Drexel. The Tiger Basketball Report starts now. For an athlete, there's nothing scarier than a torn ACL. Athletes trust us with their care and their careers because we're a recognized leader in sports medicine. Get back to your active life sooner with MedStar Sports Medicine. White Market's ice cream plant is based in Sunbury, Pennsylvania and locally owned and operated. We've been making our ice cream for nearly 50 years. We create roughly 70 flavors of ice cream right now. We use local ingredients, especially our cream, which is from our milk plant. The cream is what gives our, our ice cream a rich and creamy texture. Now together with our customers, uh, we've created a, a product called Peanut Butter Indulgence, which will be coming out this summer. It's a peanut butter ice cream with sea salt caramel swirl, and chocolate covered pretzel. How could you go wrong with that? Personally, I love our ice cream. You come to our house at any given time, you'll find at least five packets of ice cream in our freezer. Uh, our kids grew up eating wise quality ice cream and now we get to treat our grandchildren to it. It's been a pleasure for me to be tasting ice cream for over 40 years to Wise Markets and, and I'm loving every minute of it. Welcome fans to another edition of the Tiger Basketball Report. I'm your host Spiro Marikas along with the head coach of the Tigers Pat Scary and coach on Thursday at CQ, excuse me, on Thursday up at the DAC in Philadelphia the day of the Eagles parade, which I know is going to aggravate you even more. The Tigers will take on the Dragons of Drexel for the second time. Now, Drexel was here a couple of weeks ago. You guys handled them 90-68. to 68. But this is a team that has won four consecutive ball games. They're on a run. I mean, they're the hottest team in the league right now. You know, they just, uh, they've just they won four straight games. That's really hard to do. Or they're as hot as any team in the league, you know. So, you know, obviously very, very good offensively. We, we knew that last time. The guards, Isabel Lee, Mohica Hopper. And they got, you know, Demare and, and, and Big Johnson and Austin Williams are inside. I mean, number five's a beast. So they, they've got good inside-outside balance. Um, they score a lot of points. They've won a, some tight, tight ball games. Um, I think Care was just one of those ones, you know, they played a subpar game. We played probably a little above par. You know, uh, it's going to be a tough, tough game up there. Um, and we, we need to try to get another road win. It's going to be a battle. In that first matchup, Drexel jumped out to a quick lead. But then you guys just went on a tear and eventually winning the ball game by 22 points. You had five guys scoring double digits. I thought that the, the key was that Kirk Lee last year put up some really big numbers against the Tigers, and you guys kind of contained him in that first matchup. Well, their guards, including Lee and, and Isabel, those guys are really hard to contain. Um, they're a good team in transition. They're really good off broken plays and handoffs and ball screens you, you got to figure out how to keep those guys out of the paint which is a really tough task but they're also capable of shooting it so it's they're quick they're dynamic with the ball it, it's, it, they're going to really test our defense the DAC is a difficult place to play uh, it's a little band box for anybody who's never been there it's it's kind of a unique college setting but the students get in there and it gets loud yeah we've you know it's they've done a nice job fixing it up in there it's Philly's an awesome college basketball town, and, 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 and people come out. And so we, we know it's going to be a Thursday night. It, it, it'll be lively in there, and, you know, our, our guys like that kind of atmosphere. It's like anything. We've got to, you know, we've got to do certain things well to, to put ourselves in a position to win a tough ball game. Defensively, which is, has been your trademark since you've been here at Towson, your teams have just been phenomenal defensively. Not always. Just <laughs> <laughs> this year there have been some games where the defense hasn't quite been up to what you expect. 
Can you put your finger on what it is? Yeah, I just think it's being committed to it mentally. We've got enough tools to do it. Um, we're, st we're, we're, you know, we're playing eight guys over 16 minutes a game, so that, which is more than most maybe other than Northeastern in our, in our league. You know, uh, we, we've got to you know we've got to do a better job of just guarding the ball, being in our gaps, communicating, um, and that really it's it's a it's a it's a focus thing. You know, like our overall numbers are good on the year, but we've had these up and down issues. I mean, I, I you know I think to. I think the team that the league is so good on offense. It's the number one rated offensive league in the country, which makes it a challenge um, to guard any team. <laughs> is but the team that can kind of string it together a little more consistently is probably, in my opinion, the team that's going to cut down the nets. The other thing is, and this isn't going to make you feel any better, but you got one of those guys. But the top ten scorers in this league, none of them are seniors. I, there's not one. I didn't realize that was one senior. I know there's a lot of good. Young scores in the league. Um, it's a good league. It's no surprise. It's always going to be a good league. Hey, we got good young players too, right? You know, so it's uh, you've got one of those ten in the top. The number number three. Yep. Yeah, got to keep getting better. Got to keep getting better. All right. Well, the Tigers will take on the Dragons at seven o'clock on Thursday. I'll have the call for you on CBS Sports Radio thirteen hundred and TowsonTigers.com starting at six forty-five with the pregame show. For head coach Pat Scary, I'm Spiro Marikas. Thanks for watching this edition of the Tiger Basketball Report, and as always, go Tigers.